Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas would soon be there. The children were all nestled, all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama, in a kerchief, and I in my cap, had settled our brains for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window, I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, and threw up the sash. The moon, on the breast of the new fallen snow, gave the luster of midday to objects below. When, what to my wondering eyes should appear, but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With the little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. Well, more rapid than eagles, his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now, now Dancer, Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner, and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up on the housetop, horses they flew, with the sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too, and then, in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples. How merry! His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry, his droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard of his chin was as white as the snow. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings then turned with a jerk. And laying his finger aside his nose and giving a nod up the chimney, he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team's gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him explain as he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. All right. Oh, yeah. The night before Christmas. The night before Christmas, a soft to touch story. <laughs> Is this free artistic expression? When out of the lawn there rose such a clatter. Let me hear some clatter, Julio. Beat on the door. All right. I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Ready, bobsled? Yep. Everybody left. And right. <laughs> As dry leaves. Are you ready? Ah! <laughs> I like the centerpiece though, that's really Isn't cool. it pretty? Loud. Loud. Fourth of four. Quiet on the set, Officer Clayton. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. Santa. Can we see the picture? As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, no, retake that. <laughs> All right, that's that fine. Horrible. Can I get a count? One, One. two, three. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. <laughs>
22 right. for your birthday. Go. Go. Right. See y'all. Oh, Take off your hat. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.